celebrating the life of Edgar Allan Poe. Who was the Poe toaster? We still have no idea. In Baltimore, they're keeping the tradition of visiting Edgar Allan Poe's grave for his birthday, but without the mystery. It was an annual tribute as mysterious as its honoree. Every year on Edgar Allan Poe's birthday, a masked man would leave three red roses and a bottle of cognac on his grave. From around 1949, the centennial of Poe's death, until 2000, this somebody or somebodies toasted the famous author, who was born this day in 1849. They usually came sometime between midnight and 6 a.m., wrote the Baltimore Sun, Laura Littman, in 2000. No one ever tried to unmask the visitor, she reported. But this ritual was watched by a small group of onlookers. The traditional uniform of the Poe toaster was an all-black outfit with a white scarf and a big hat, as can be seen in this Life magazine photograph from 1990. From 1977 until the end, the crowd included Jeff Jerome, now former curator of the Poe House, Bob McMillan of the Herald Citizen described how Jerome would wait every year for the visit to Poe's grave, which is Baltimore's Westminster burial ground, a small graveyard in the gothic-looking desecrated church, desecrated. Nobody knows why the Poe toaster toasted the writer with cognac, though we speculate this is Poe's favorite drink. As for the roses, Poe enthusiasts think the gesture represents the three persons who remains are beneath the monument. Poe, his wife, Virginia Clem Poe, and his mother-in-law, Maria Clem. Over the years, Drum had become the keeper of the notes stopped and left Grace side. And the tradition, he was also there in 1999 to see a note indicating the torch had been passed and the toaster had died, leaving his sons to carry on the tradition. But things were different, McMillan writes. The sons didn't always take the tradition as seriously as their father. Sometimes the toaster showed up in street clothes. Sometimes notes were left that were completely off target, and a disappointed Jerome withheld them, simply telling the crowd that the toaster had come and gone. Then in 2009, the tradition stopped altogether. Probably it was just in time. Jerome also suggested that the attention the yearly visit received may have been scared off the toasters. The Poe Society, somewhat scathing notes that would be copycats hoping for the same kind of recognition, have been dismissed as faux toasters. But a Jerome sanctioned comeback, the toaster happened in 2016 when the tradition was resurrected by the Maryland Historical Society, who held auditions for Baltimore's next po- toaster, writes Daniel Debeck for Mental Floss. He dressed the same and had a similar ceremony, but this toaster wasn't anonymous, and the event was a public celebration. The new toaster will walk again this weekend on January 21st.